Seven asks, what is the approximate molecular geometry of the SN2 transition state? So let's talk about some SN2. We're going to have a nucleophile of some kind, and we're going to attack some compound that has a leaving group. So we don't care what these groups are. Let's just call them A, B, C. They're probably not all alkyl or we wouldn't be able to do this. But for SN2, we need to be doing a backside attack because the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital, which is where the nucleophile needs to dump electron density into, is an orbital that is directly opposing this carbon leaving group bond. So in order to get that new nucleophile carbon bond, we have to approach in a direction that is 180 degrees from the leaving group. So it's called a backside attack. It has to approach that way. And so what we're going to end up getting is a transition state that looks like this. We will have the nucleophile that is beginning to interact with that carbon. We will have a bond to the leaving group that is beginning to dissipate. SN2, when we say that SN2 is a concerted reaction, everything is happening in one step. This is what we're talking about. We're talking about a bond between the nucleophile and that central carbon beginning to materialize and the bond from that carbon to the leaving group beginning to dematerialize or beginning to dissipate. This is all happening at the same time. It is not the case that the carbon accepts a fifth bond from the nucleophile begins to panic and say, oh, I have too many bonds, I need to lose one, and then loses the bond to the leaving group. This is all happening simultaneously. So it's as though we have half a bond to each species in that transition state. So that's what this is, the transition state here. And so that ends up going to the product, which will be the nucleophile here, and then everything has inverted. So we know that we have inversion of stereochemistry in the SN2 reaction. So it's like inverting an umbrella, essentially. The nucleophile approaches, pushes everything to the other side, and now we have the inverted stereochemistry. But the transition state is that highest energy moment in between, right in the middle of the reaction, where everything is materializing and dematerializing at the same time. And what we can see here is that we very clearly have a trigonal bipyramidal geometry. We have that 120 degree bond angles. It's like a trigonal planar section in the middle and then bonds on either side, 180 degrees apart. So this transition state has a trigonal bipyramidal geometry and that is what the transition state for the SN2 reaction looks like.